Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. We are doing your next 48. This is episode June 1 and 2 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Okay, if you have questions about getting a personal reading for yourself, you already know what to do, you guys. Check that description box. Everything you need is there. What you see is what you get. So, happy birthday, Gemini. It's been your birthday for like 10 days, I know. But um, happy birthday, okay? So, June. All right, this is for Scorpio. Please show me the important messages for Scorpio right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. June 1 and 2, my Scorpios. All right, looks like this, the Page of Wands wants to come out, it looks like. All right, let's, I want to make sure you guys can see that. It might be a little bit of a glare. Apologies. Okay, Page of Wands. All right, so let's see what else. Okay. Page of Wands for Scorpio. What else? Okay, we have the okay, we have the Page of Cups and then we have the uh, King of Pentacles. All right. Uh we have the uh Temperance, we have the High Priestess and we have the 5 of Swords. All right. We need to All right, there we go. Okay, sorry Scorpio. I had I need to get my trying to get my camera angle together so you guys could see this. All right, hopefully you guys could see that. It's not too blurry. Okay, so what I'm getting is you keep trying to make an offer uh, towards an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and you're kind of waiting on their response. It looks like you're wondering what they're thinking, okay? Or you're, you're waiting, and I'm getting you're sitting here thinking, trying to win this person back over. It looks like you tried to come at, come at them in a very romantic way, maybe saying something romantic or flirtatious or sexual. And I feel like that did not work. Um, you couldn't even try to send them a photo of your genitals. Because the page of wants to me, when, it, when it's in like this, I'm getting you probably sent somebody an explicit photo of yourself or they sent this to you. Um, that did not work. I feel like that did not yield any response. So you tried to come in a more romantic way, compassionate way, uh, maybe more peaceful way. And they're still just sitting here ignoring you. And you're, they kind of just have you waiting. All right. You feel like this part, you feel like they're doing this to be spiteful. They're making you wait on purpose. But I feel like they're just, they're just trying to make up their mind. They're trying to decide what to say to you or how to come at you. All right. They're, I'm, I'm getting this person's not really sure how they feel about you. All right. Now, you could be dealing with someone who's done this to you. This person keeps trying to, you know, they keep trying to communicate with you. But it's it's almost like you're sitting here. I mean, they're sitting here like, no, I, I'm good. All right, let's see. So let's see what else. So I'm getting, I'm getting like somebody is trying to get your attention or you're trying to get someone else's attention. Okay, what's, uh, let's go around again. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's see, Scorp. Let's see what this is. Okay. We have, yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting. This, this person is, I feel like they, they just don't want to talk to you right now. They're feeling, they may be pissed off at you. What's the uh, Knight of Cups? Yeah, that, that's what I'm getting. Every time you try to communicate with this person, they're cold or they're very resistant or rigid towards you. Somebody is very reluctant to talk to you. And I'm getting to like, somebody is very prideful with the Five of Swords. It's like they have too much pride to talk to you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. All right, what's, uh, okay, yeah, the Five of Cups. So they may, this person's ignoring you because they're sad. You may have hurt their feelings, all right? They could be sad about a trip or a tr uh, something, some type of travel plans fell through. So maybe you were, you were supposed to go and see them. They were supposed to come and see you and that fell through. And they're sad about this, okay? Now, the, this earth sign could be your parent because the King of Pentacles is our father, it's our Capricorn, it's our 10th house. All right, let's see. What is the High Priestess? We have, yeah, we have the uh, Page of Swords and then we have the Nine of Wands. So it looks like, too, that somebody could have got light of a situation. Somebody could have found something out and that's why they're ignoring you. All right, and I'm getting, if you keep trying to communicate with them, they're, they're going to keep ignoring you. It looks like they're irritated by your, by your uh, attempts. It's irritating them, okay? I'm getting right now this person really has no love for you. Okay, they could have found out about a trip that you were taking. Maybe they were supposed to go along with you. Is that why they're sad? What is the Five of Cups? What is the Five of Cups energy? 
or they could have found out that you were talking to somebody else, a mistress or something like that, because the the uh, the page of swords, it's, it's like finding something out. It's bad news. It's a very blunt message. Somebody could have asked you, what's you know, tell me the truth. Who's this person? Do you have a mistress? I want I want the truth. But I'm getting like somebody may be tired of your lies, or you you're tired of somebody else's lies. Okay, what is the five of cups? The five of cups energy. Five of cups, please. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. So, so it looks like somebody is sad because you walked away. But the Eight of Cups to me, it's like a trip. It's a journey. It's finding yourself. It's spirituality. It's a spiritual awakening. Okay. So you're so this person, or, because you're sad, this person walked away. I'm getting this is your energy because you are the Cups, Scorpio. So I'm getting you're trying to get their attention, but this person's long gone. They're, they're, they, they've taken a trip or they've walked away or they've moved on. Okay, but I'm getting, they, they didn't leave. I'm getting they left because they were sad or disappointed in something. Okay, I want to put up, what's the sun card though? But they seem to be happy now is, is what I'm getting here. Okay, the three of pentacles. Yeah, so I'm getting this person walked away, but they're, I don't know, for some reason, these two cards are standing out to me, that high priestess, because somebody's following their intuition What's the, what is the page of swords? What is the page of swords, please? Because I'm getting somebody's resisting you because they found out that you had a mistress or you had, or they, they found out that they were a mistress. They were the other person and they walked away from you. Okay. Because the five of swords is like doing what's best for me. Self-serving. It's about me now. I win. All right. So somebody's like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a mistress. I'm good. All right, what's the, what's, so somebody could have saw something in your phone or on your uh, social media that led them to believe that they were a mistress or you had a mistress. Uh, or it could have been something that you said as well. All right, maybe because with this, it's like somebody told on themselves without actually being blunt or um, like without being candid or blunt, you kind of told on yourself. Maybe you were talking around the subject or, but it's like somebody told on themselves or like you may have said something in the conversation and somebody's like, hmm, I wonder what he, I wonder what they mean by that. What do you, what do you mean by that comment? Why'd you say that? And you kind of, I'm getting, you kind of gave yourself away here or they did. Yeah. Five of pentacles, three of swords. Yeah. Somebody, someone's going to, this is some, this is definitely a separation or an affair that happened. I'm getting somebody found out about an affair. Okay. What is the page of swords energy or they're going to find out? Yeah, so yeah, somebody found out and reacted accordingly. What is the nine of wands? Yeah, the, uh, sorry guys, hitting the camera, okay. So what's, what is the wheel of fortune? Yeah, so I'm getting this person, it, now it could be somebody with heavy uh, air in their chart, this is you. It's like in order to keep somebody from finding out, you kind of flipped out on this person or overreacted, but I'm getting that's what gave you away because you overreacted or you got agitated and that's what gave you away if you were cheating on this person. Are right, you 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 getting overly excited or overly agitated or annoyed by by somebody's questioning? That's what gave you away if you were doing something you didn't have any business doing. Okay? Because it's like the guilty party always speaks or you just did the most when somebody questioned you about something. All right, somebody wanted the truth. I'm getting somebody was waiting for you to tell them the truth about a third party, but instead of just like being smooth with it, you kind of like flipped out and and went off and made a scene. And that gave you away. It's like, why are you getting so irritated? It's just a question. All right, what's the will of fortune? The will of fortune, yeah. So I'm getting now this person, yeah. What's, what is the will of fortune? Because it's like somebody knows something. Somebody is following divine guidance. They know something is up. It's, but I'm getting it's because you, you kind of told on yourself. What is the will of fortune? Yeah, the two of wands. Yeah, somebody's going in a different direction. All of a sudden, something is over. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a situation ended very quickly, and something's going to pick up very quickly as well. All right, but I'm getting this, this person's going to message you or try to reach out to you. See, now this person is stuck on you. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting somebody is stuck on you now, or you're stuck on this person. Let's go around again for you one more time. All right, but this is a very cut and dry message. If this have not, if this has not already happened, it will. It, it may be something that happens at work too. You may flip out on somebody at your workplace, okay? Or you find out that somebody's messing with somebody at your job. You may flip out on the other person. All right, try to cut them down. What's the uh, emperor, please? What is the emperor? So basically, what this saying is like somebody found out that you were cheating or that you were doing something at work that's. You know, they, they would not approve of, so they left. I mean, it's, this is a very cut and dry message. 
All right, you could be dealing with any sign. I'm getting um, Aries, Leo, and a lot of air, okay? The Emperor is, okay, the Eight of Swords. That's what I'm saying. Now you're stuck. It's like you, it's like you can't stop thinking about this person or they can't stop thinking about you. It's like you can't, it's like you have to explain yourself or you just want to, you want to explain to them what happened. It's not what they think, but they're like, they don't want to hear it. They, it's like they're stuck on, they're, they're fixed on the thought that you were cheating and that's just, what, what's just what it is. Okay. But I'm getting, you want to say, no, I, I was loyal to you. I didn't, we didn't do anything. I promise. I swear. I, you know, I was loyal. What is the, uh, what is the strength card? But I'm getting somebody does not want to hear it. They don't, they don't care. What's the strength card? The emperor is very stubborn. I mean, of course it's an Aries, so it's a cardinal sign, but once they've made their mind up, it's kind of like, you know, it's very hard to, uh, they're impenetrable emotionally. What's the strength card? Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting your, I'm getting you want to let somebody know that you didn't do anything. You did not have sex. Maybe you were just talking to this person, but it, it wasn't anything sexual. But I'm getting this person, they already left. Okay, we have the uh, Ace of Swords now and the Hangman. See, now some now somebody wants to tell you the truth. Now somebody, you know, now somebody wants to enlighten you. Now the now somebody, it's like somebody's waiting now. All right, I want to get some Love Oracle cards, but this is a very cut and dry reading. Okay. It looks like it's too late now. Like somebody wants to reveal the truth or open up or, you know, but I feel like it's too late. You're already, you've already chose another option. Two of Wands. I'm getting too, like you're interested in, you're traveling here. I'm getting, you're, I'm getting, you are communicating with uh, someone who's foreign or you're think you're, you're planning a trip. Okay. So, so I'm getting like, you're long gone. You're out of there. Or this other person is, I'm getting it's fire, the fire sign. Okay. So they've moved. This person has moved on. All right. When I see, when I see the will of fortune, it's like, yeah. So, you know, things are just going, life goes on. This person's like, yeah, life goes on. I'm going to move on. I'm done. You know, good luck or whatever. Let's pull some love oracle cards for you. Okay. Let's see. Love oracle cards for Scorpio, please. And thank you. Okay. We have healing family issues. Interesting. It says calling your soulmate and un unrequited love. Yeah. So this may be a family dynamic. Maybe you were married to this person or you guys were living together or you guys have children together or whatever. All right. But I'm getting, this is something that's, that it's deeper than what you guys are going through. This is like healing family issues. It's like a psychological issue. It's the way that somebody was raised. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting insecurities as well, but I'm getting, if somebody tries to call you and explain themselves, they're going to say, look, I never loved them. I love you. I never had any feelings for this person. It was, it was just sex and that's all. But I mean, that's enough for you. But yeah, somebody, I'm getting somebody's a prostitute. Like somebody will do anything for money. This could be a Venus and a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in the 10th house. It's like, I'm getting like someone's telling you like, oh, I had like somebody did this for money. Like you had sex with somebody because you thought they were good. I don't know what this is. Okay. Another card for Scorpio, please. Yeah, but I'm, I'm getting like somebody's promiscuous. Maybe this is the way they were raised or what they saw in childhood. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, we have finances and career coming out again, and we have passion. Yeah, so it looks somebody it looks like somebody met somebody at work, and they were they were very attracted to this person. Okay, but I'm getting they failed to tell you this, or they felt they they somebody lied just somebody just flat out lied to you about how they felt about somebody or how they felt about you. Maybe they never loved you, and they somebody was just using you for your money, or you were or this is you. Are right, you choose besides your arm on my card? And I'm getting if you were dealing with this person, like it was all it was all about sex and money to them. So it looks like somebody lost their meal ticket. Like that's why they're mad because maybe you were caring for this person. All right, let's see. Yeah, this could be the one and you deserve love. So I'm getting somebody's going to try to convince you that they love you, that, you know, uh, you deserve, you know, I'm the one for you. But I, I, I feel like you deserve better when it's pointing to the two of wands. You have other options. Go with another option. Okay, I'm getting to you can meet somebody while you are traveling on your travels. You may meet someone. I'm also getting to you are realizing you are realizing that somebody is the one and you should have, you know, I don't know. It's like it's like you should have went with a different option. I want to get what's the two of wands energy. Because Like the tables have turned. It's almost like, damn, I should have made that decision. I should have I should have chose a different path. I should have chose to do something else. 
Okay, let's see. So I'm, I'm getting now, you're like, okay, damn, this is, they, they were actually the one. I actually love this other person. Okay, but somebody is like reckless. Their behavior is reckless. Like sexually, somebody can't, somebody cannot control their sexual desires. Maybe dealing with someone who's like, I mean, of course they're immature, but I mean, I don't know. Some, somebody who's like, they have to have sex for validation or something like that. Because it says healing family issues. It looks like somebody equates, you know, nurturing with sex. So maybe, maybe they, I don't know. What's the two of wands, please? But I'm getting somebody is insecure, so they have sex to fill a void. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, the five of wands. Yeah, so somebody's going to try to convince you to, to choose them or to come back. Yeah, somebody wants you to come back home. All right, somebody wants to try again, but you're, I'm getting you're going to just ignore this person. You want nothing to do with them. You're like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to focus on my work. All right, but somebody's going to keep trying to put effort into you. I hope this helps. All right, don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.